Hello, I'm Jeff Brickler with CAD Talk, and I will be showing this video today. The purpose of this demonstration is to show the CAD Talk integration as two software solutions with the CAD Talk platform the CAD Talk Design Automation and the CAD Talk ERP integration with IFS. To, on your screen today, you should be seeing a, a Windows Explorer uh, with PDM for SOLIDWORKS. I will show uh, both solutions, the, the design automation solution as well as the CAD Talk ERP. Today I'll be showing creating several configurations based upon resin mixes for parts for product that is a bucket. Uh, we'll create in PDM using the different resin mixes uh, attached to a data card on a part so let me select that part now so on this particular part we have a property in pdm called resin mix it is a delimited list of by semicolon of the potential resin mixes for this particular product cad talk design automation will read in those resin mixes will generate new parts and builds of material for every resin mix. So it'll create the top level, uh, generate uh, a new part number, reserve that number from IFS, uh, and then assign the mixes as a subcomponent of each uh, part that's in this bill of material. So for the example, the part I'm, I'm, I'm on, that part will get a new part number for every resin mix and underneath it will have a component as the resin mix. The resin mixes are maintained in IFS. They are represented in uh, PDM as a delimited list, uh, but the components on a resin mix are, are only held in IFS. They do not uh, have a corresponding uh, details in PDM. So today I'm going to show uh, creating four different versions of this bill of material. So there, this is a bucket. I will create four versions of this bucket based upon the four resin mixes that we see in this property resin mix. Okay, so uh, I will minimize this window and go showing CAD Talk. Uh, CAD Talk uh, is, they have two products here in this interface. I have the design automation with SOLIDWORKS PDM. This is the solution where that will create the uh, named bombs based upon the resin mixes. All of this, all of what's done with this uh, design automation is, is performed in SOLIDWORKS PDM. This is the first step in the process. Uh, it's already configured uh, based upon the template the templates uh, for that bucket and the resin mixes to generate the resin mix uh, all the versions for the resin mixes I simply press the generate bombs from configuration I select that button cat talk will log in to PDM and then I will search for the the bill of material uh, that I want to create the resin mix uh, variations if you will so that's this particular uh, bill of material. This is the bucket. I want to make sure I have show selected. I'm going to read in the standard configuration. I'll select open. CAD Talk will then process all of the bills of material. It'll generate new bills of material for uh, based upon the resin mixes. So for every for the four resin mixes that I had on the data card, it, Cat Talk will create four versions of, of those uh, for each resin mix. And when it's finished in, cat, in the PDM, we will have those represented here. So if I go back to the PDM and I display the bills of material, you can see that Cat Talk is generating them now. So uh, I, I created the 477 and the 471, now the 479, and then I'll create the fourth one this is all being generated within PDM, right? So th this would be done, uh, can be done on demand by an engineer. Uh, long term, we will be running this in a fully automated session. Once it's finished, I'll have the four bills of material, as you see here. 
right? So uh, then what I'll do is once it's now finished, I can select on a bill of material and see what I've created. So in this interface, you see the below the bill of material, I took this, these file names and generated new IFS numbers. We've called them IFS numbers. So notice I have IFS numbers. This particular bucket is a green bucket. So it got a new number. Uh, so that's the top level assembly. Notice that I have built up the description from all the configuration data below. So each item has its own description and CAD Talk is pulling that information uh, from each part description as well as pulling data out of IFS uh, on the uh, characteristics. So that's how we're able to build up this description. Uh, it is configurable and what data we uh, use in the description. Uh, as of right now, it's using all of the data from every part. So notice the five gallon pail, the green five gallon pail with the plastic handle. That's the 477 part. Beneath that is the pail itself, just the pail, not this whole assembly that has a number. Notice I've added a subcomponent. Uh, the IFS number is 100015. That is a mix number that's already populated in my list of mixes. Notice it doesn't have a description. None of that's maintained in, it doesn't have a file. None of that is maintained in PDM. We're just representing it as a subcomponent in this bill. Notice the quantity is the weight quantity. We've automatically added that in here. And then you'll notice below is the plastic handle and then the metal handle. I've automatically generated part numbers here. Uh, in, this, in the case of a me metal handle or a purchase part, these parts must have uh, IFS numbers already existing on the data card for us to not, so that CAD Talk doesn't generate a new number, right? So for every purchase part, uh, CAD, the engineer must put in that on that purchase part, the part number that's used in IFS. Uh, we're calling it IFS numbers so that we don't regenerate. In this example, uh, because we don't have that information, CAD Talk automatically generates that. Uh, but this is something that we'll have to solve uh, down the road. Uh, so again, notice that CAD Talk has generated numbers for each part. Now this is only half of the equation. So uh, once I've generated these four bills of material for the four resins, CAD Talk then needs, uh, then the CAD Talk ERP takes the handoff. So uh, there are two products in action here. There's the design automation, which is the PDM only portion. That PDM creates data uh, in SOLIDWORKS PDM, creates what we call what's called named bombs. It does use data from characteristics in IFS, but that's more of a lookup. It doesn't write data to IFS in that design automation process. The design automation process is to create the engineering version of the bill of material uh, that will go to IFS. Uh, so based upon the, the configurations uh, of, of resin mixes. Once that's complete, CAD Talk ERP, uh, the IFS connector, will read the data from the, these name bombs and create those, uh, the bill of material in the engineering parts, engineering structures in IFS. So I'm going to demonstrate that now. I'll minimize this window. Now uh, I'm already logged into IFS, right, with my username. Uh, I'm already logged into PDM. From here, uh, I can load the PDM data that we already created in the lab in the last session. Uh, we can create uh, the bills of material in IFS. So again, I select the load PDM bomb from PDM. It's going to log into PDM. I'll browse for those files that are in PDM. Again, select my CAD talk, test one. There's the bucket assembly. Select open. CAD talk will show the new, newly generated PDM bombs that we talked about, the named bombs. I'll select this 471. Select OK. CAD Talk begins to read that data out of PDM. So it's a two-step uh, process, two different products. Create the PDM bomb with design automation, CAD Talk design automation, and then create the ERP bomb with the CAD Talk ERP uh, product. So what it's doing now is it's reading out of SOLIDWORKS PDM and then prepping that data for IFS. So in this, when it's finished in the interface, it'll show us the PDM 
the IFS PDM ball. So you'll notice I have a number of icons with structures. We'll select the top level. Okay, so now you can notice, hey, this is a five gallon pail. It's white. That was the first configuration we had. It has the, all the description information here, right? So what you're looking at now is the IFS data in engineering parts. Okay, so here is the revision. Then here is the first component. Notice there is one of those components. And then below here, that's the five gallon pail. It's the white only, right? So that was, we created that in PDM, SOLIDWORKS PDM, and now we're pulling it out of, for IFS. Notice here is the, the component 0, uh, 010014. Notice its quantity is one and a half. That was, we generated that based upon the weight uh, in the first uh, in the first round with the uh, CAD talk design automation and then here notice here is the mix the HTPE uh, 7 MI white mix notice it's a green component right so red components are new to IFS but uh, this component here this item already exists it's engineering part exists there's the mix and notice it's bill of material, if I drill down, exists, but CAD Talk doesn't main, uh, maintain that from PDM. So all of the, all CAD Talk did was add that uh, part from IFS into this bill of material. So notice here uh, that down below I have another component, 473, that's the handle. Down below here, here is the metal handle. Again, uh, the reason we have both plastic and uh, metal handle in this particular example is because the model has both of those in it. Uh, in order to avoid that, we'll, we'll, each model must have just one configuration. Uh, so down below, again, here's the, the component for the metal handle, there's the metal handle, and then there's a plastic part for the metal handle. So that represents the bill of material. Once I'm finished here, right, so um, it can be saved, you can uh, we can review what's in here. Once I'm ready, it can hit save. And then what CAD Talk will do is it will go to IFS and create this bill of material in engineering parts. It will turn everything green. It just did that. And now everything exists in the engineering parts and engineering parts structures in IFS. So then from, from that point on, uh, IFS handles the next rest of the process. So a, a, a manufacturing engineer can take the the engineering bill, uh, uh, do his or her work on the value add, move it over to the correct site, add the routings, do all that piece uh, within IFS. So CAD talk is uh, that CAD talk's functions are finished. Now each time CAD talk, uh, each time a new product is created, each time a new resin is added, this process is repeated. Uh, right now we're doing it uh, manually in the interface. Uh, Long term, this process will be fully automated, uh, invisible to the engineer and the manu assuming the design engineer and the manufacturing engineer. Okay, that concludes the video uh, for the testing of this phase of the.